afternoon, everybody. Shoot this uh, outside today. Thought I'd get a good little blast of fresh air. Had an interesting conversation with one of my clients last night regarding education, and I was, we were talking about the value of college and private school and such. And she had brought up something I had mentioned in a seminar some years back when we first met, and that was um, that I had, you know, railed on about. You know how wasteful it was to spend all this money on private school and you know there's a lot of private colleges too they thought were a waste of money still do actually but uh but she brought up you know then we get discussing her and we were talking about you know my kids and her son is, is uh has already gone through school and grad school young man doing very well for himself in the field uh out in uh, california and um you know she said she was laughing when i had first said hey you know uh you know, school's a waste. They had put their, their son through um, through private school and uh, all the way through and then went to another private school for for high, for high school. And uh, then he decided he wanted to go to college. But, you know, we were talking about that, you know, with, with her son that she felt he was a bit shy uh, and that, you know, could, he could use a more supportive, um, interactive, non-traditional school environment. And I, you know, we're, it came up because I feel like my son's somewhat the same way and that he could benefit from yeah, you know, your typical sit you know, sit down in classroom rows and have someone uh, vomit at you for seven hours about stuff in the way the way I learned, you know, just teaching topics and taking notes and you know, just getting uh, just basically downloading and, you know, and, and playback is what uh, what our school was. You know, a lot of times growing up that's what school was, was download and playback. So um, you know, interesting conversation. I wonder if any of you have thoughts on this. We were discussing the value of that and some of the private schools in the area. Is it worth the investment to do that? They are very much focused on, on that type of attitude of, of respecting the individual student and listening to them and allowing them to be um, flexible, creative, and to be themselves as they express how they learn and, and, and responding to that. Um, what do you think about that? I'm curious what you all feel. Uh, in general, I still hold the feeling that there are a lot of universities, especially in New England, that New England people tend to hold in high regard. But really, if you ever left uh, the area, no one had ever heard. No one ever heard, hears of that school. So you know, should you? I always bring the debate. You know, should you? You know, if you were a Virginia resident, you could pay in-state tuition to Virginia or California or Texas. You know, states with good state schools. Why would you come up here and for these no-name private schools pay forty or fifty thousand? Makes no sense to me. But uh, that's the one strong opinion I have. But as far as like before that, you know, K through 12, and even especially the early years, which are important, what do you feel about that? I'd be curious about your comments, and, and, and for those of you that are clients, friends of mine, that you watch this, I'd love to have this conversation more in depth as I go through the process of looking at uh, schools for, for my kids and, uh, you know, what's best for them, and, uh, you know, small environment, large environment, just things like that. So, uh, you know, when you get a chance, uh, give me, a, you know, let me know. I'd like to know how you feel. Let me know what you think.